So we're about to have a one year old. What? What? Bella's first birthday is tomorrow and I'm trying my best not to freak out. By the time we upload this video, I'm sure a few days would have gone by and we would have already had a party and everything. But I'm here because I want y'all to come on the journey with me. <laughs> of course, I need to kind of get the entire house in order. My mom will be here on Thursday. The party will be on Saturday. And so um, I feel like we got a little bit of time. But you know how first birthdays are. You can start to have new ideas of what you can put together, especially if you don't have like a party planner. I have only a few days to get the whole house together, but that's all right. That's all right. We got this. We got this. My goal is to take the pictures upstairs to try to clear out this area because um, I think my mom wants to kind of decorate the dining room. I am also packaging up our winners um, of the Christmas giveaway. I, I'm packaging up their gifts today, so I'm really excited to send those out. Um, hopefully I can find some, like, maybe I can, like, wrap it up really cute because I'm really excited about that. I want it to be, like, a gift that they get to open. Of course, we filmed everything that was in it, but still, I want our um winners to feel just really excited about 2024 what's to come I'm so excited for y'all to receive your gifts so i'm gonna do that today but outside of that i'm just gonna be prepping for bella's first birthday come on the journey with me to bella's winter wonderland We're not cooperating today. Nobody. All right, let's go. Oh, I feel like I can barely like move my lips. But I made it back home. Um just in time for Bella to take her afternoon nap. I hopped in my PJs because I wanted to do a little self-care, pamper. My face gonna be snitched. Oh, this eye patch? I mean, this, not eye patch, shit. This uh, mask that I have is like one of those gold masks. Let me show you that again. It's the gold essence mask. Um, and it said uh, it's natural, has a natural moisturizing factor and gold is to make skin healthy and vitalizing. So that's what we're going for, is for elasticity and nutrition. And honestly, my um, under eyes have been like super puffy. I have a little wrinkles coming up, like what they call crow's feet or whatever, right here. They're very subtle, you can't really tell, but I don't want that. And I'm not a Botox kind of girl. I'm not knocking anybody who, who does it. Like I have never just really thought about getting Botox because I have like really tight skin. So I want to keep that elasticity, especially in my 30s. I'm 31. I got a long time to go before I want some wrinkles, okay? I have to blow up some balloons. 
we're going to attempt to do a balloon arch. My sister's not a pro at balloon art or what is it called? Arches, balloon arches. But she did it for my gender reveal and my baby shower. And she did a really good job. The, the gender reveal was the first time ever. And then uh, the baby shower, she showed out. So she's coming in town on Saturday and I plan to have her still set up the arch. She has said she's not going to do it. If I have the balloons prepped and ready for her, I feel like she'll come in and say, how can I help? <laughs> So, their fingers crossed, that's what she does. But um, I'm going to blow up the balloons and if she doesn't do it, maybe my mom will help out and we'll try to have everything up and ready to go before the party. Dropped off all of the items to FedEx and went to the grocery store, got all the food for the party. I'm excited, I can't wait. We're about to make a balloon arch for the birthday party. I have three balloon colors. So white, gray, and then pink. I don't even know if the pink will look good because the theme is winter wonderland. So um, I don't know if the pink will look good with like the white and gray, but we're gonna see. So I have four different balloon sizes. These are the biggest ones. They all came in a pack. It, we got it off of Amazon called Party Woo. Yeah, Party Woo. Comes with the little gel dots so you can like secure it to the wall if you need to. Um, it comes with some streamer in case you wanted to like have them floating in the air, but we don't have a helium, like whatever, the helium machine, so we can't have those. Obviously, these are just sit on the ground if we had some just scattered out. And then um, you have this little, I don't even know what this is called, but literally you can stick all the balloons on it and um, have it like secure it to the wall in whatever shape you want it. So we have those things. Um, we actually have an arch in our garage, but I don't, I think it's eight feet and our ceilings may be nine feet. And so, or our ceilings where we're gonna have the balloon arch are nine feet. And so I don't think we'll have enough room to actually put like, like secure balloons around it, if that makes sense. Like we'll be able to do it up to the wall on both sides, but I just think it's extra work. So we're gonna see if we can just do a freestanding balloon arch. I've already blown up four balloons. <laughs> The two balloons together for anybody who has never done a balloon arch and is trying to learn this is how i learned so put two together and then twist them around each other like so and then maybe twist two that weren't twisted before i mean that weren't together before and that's how you create a cluster She is currently not with it, not with the shits at all. Uh, she just got up from her nap and she's got the light up. Good job. She just got up from her nap. We have to get some lunch together. I took my mask off so I didn't scare the crap out of her when I went to go get her. But I'm going to make some lunch. What do you want? not in the mood <laughs> I'm gonna make some lunch probably just some like either some chicken tenders or we can do um, I have leftovers from last night we had like some baked chicken and green beans and stuff where are my house shoes uh, so one or the other she loves these chicken tenders that we have so, 
those are pretty quick to put together. And then some fruit because bananas. Banana. Bananas are her jam. Nana? Bella. Yeah, she's not with it yet. I'm gonna let her wake up. Get her life together. Hi, Cookie. Good morning, Cookie. How are you? How you doing? It's not even morning. Y'all just got up from a nap. <laughs> birthday party and today's our last day to try to get everything ready and tomorrow we're going to perfect it exactly because I am a perfectionist I'm going to try my best not to stress myself out because you know we're just trying to have a good time but I also know myself so whatever we have to finish blowing up balloons because I only did, I don't know, maybe like seven or eight clusters and we need a lot more. My mom come, flies in today, so we're gonna go pick her up from the airport at like noon-ish. After that, we're gonna go, look, go to this place that has vegan cupcakes. So, Miss Bells is allergic to um, dairy. And we found that out the hard way. We literally gave her like a yogurt bite or something like that. And she had a terrible reaction. Have you, if you've seen Hitch, I think I've said this before on here, but if you've seen Hitch, that's how she looked. Do you want something to drink? Where did I put your cup? She's dramatic. <laughs> anyway, um, I don't even know what I was saying, but we just got to prep. She's gonna have her little donuts. We're gonna go look for those. Today, I have to pick my mom up from the airport, and then um, we're gonna come back and blow up balloons. So, yeah. Bella. Bella. Hey. Now, I know you hear me calling you. Get out the cabinet. Close it. Uh, did I just say no? But when gentle parenting. Does not work. No, no, thank you. No, thank you. I think we should stop. Let's go in the living room. Come on. Today's beauty lineup is La Roche Posay's um, Gentle Facial Cleanser. I used this when I had really, really, really bad acne. And like, I used that in Accutane and it helped 
so much like even after adjust i'm sorry i use it after accutane so it helped with adjusting uh, my skin adjusting back to being off of medicine and stuff like that um and whenever i would get a breakout and i was consistently like on my facial regimen this stuff helped along with the double repair um moisturizer yeah so i'm going to use those two plus of course i always use my ceo glow and i'm gonna finish it off oh that is deodorant i'm gonna finish it off with the caudalie grape water and um I think I'm gonna do this vitamin C glow stick from Peace Out. I've never tried this, but I've heard good things about it. And so I got one. It says, the directions say, apply daily in the AM as the last step in your skincare routine. Gently glide over the orbital bone in, your crest in a crescent-like motion and lightly tap to blend in. Avoid direct contact with eyes. Maybe use all over the face or for spot touch-ups throughout the day. So. Yeah, we're gonna try that today. And then, um, oh, I wanted to try this new hand lotion. It's an intensive creamy oil. It's by Josie Mar Marin. I always say this wrong. I think it's Marin or Moran. Um, but anyway, it's argan oil. So I'm gonna try that on my hands because my hands have been super dry. I don't know if you can see that, but kind of disgusting. I posted like my skincare routine um, a while back on Instagram and so many other girls were in the comments like you're applying the moisturizer to your neck incorrectly and to your chest incorrectly and to your under eyes incorrectly and i was just like girl it's not that serious they be doing too much sometimes for me but also like i understand educating people um and i like constructive cr criticism but also I think there's a way to say things. I learned that. <laughs> Cause I used to just say whatever. Whatever came to mind, I'm gonna say it. But you know, I think as I started to work on that, as I started to work on myself, I started to notice it in other people, which is kind of frustrating. But because I used to be that person, you know? Anyway, self-reflection does the soul good. Love it. It just gives me like a fresh face feel. Just brush this hair out a little bit. So it is beyond time for me to take my extensions out. For anybody that thought this was my real hair, thank you, but it's not. We are going to put it right back up in that clip. And I just do a boop, 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 period. And we're good. Simple. Okay, let's get back into this birthday prep video. Outfit of the day. Top from H&M. Bottoms from H&M. Bottoms from H&M as well. Shoes are Fila, yes. I took it back. They're the like chunky ones. Oh my, can you see that? Um, I've had these for a while now, probably since before me and Vincent got married, which was like three and a half years ago. But I just don't wear them. Like they just sit in the closet and I was looking for some white shoes and or white tennis shoes and I need him to clean my tennis shoes. And these were ones that I hadn't worn in a long time, and so they're still like pretty white. Anyway, and then the hat. I got these hats from Urban Outfitters um, for 
Christmas for Vincent from Bella. But what's his is mine, and what's mine is his, and what's ours is Bella. I wish y'all could see her right now because she's like, actually, let me grab the camera. <laughs> what are you doing? Why you got those bottles? She's a mess. She literally does not need those, but I'm not too worried because if they break, it kind of is what it is. It's like natural spray. But I also put the hat on because I wanted to match my girl. Come on, boo. Show the people your outfit. Y'all probably can't see her. Let's send her on the stairs. Look. Okay, so. She just got done eating. She has food on her pants. I can't worry about it. Um, but she has on this little outfit. Let's go closer. Can you go closer? She has on this little outfit that I got from Amazon that says Daddy's Girl. Daddy's Girl. And I wanted to kind of match her. But we're about to head to the airport to pick up my mom. We're right on time, not late. We're actually a little early. And um, we're gonna get our day started the day before her birthday party. Anyway, chat soon. Today's party day. It is raining outside and very wet, very yucky, but I don't care because it's the day of my baby's first birthday party. And I got our gluten-free, dairy-free donuts because if you have not been following along um, and don't know this, Bella has a dairy allergy. Not making that mistake again, so we got our gluten-free dairy-free donuts i'll show them to you in just a bit um i don't want to open them up because they're so pretty and they're gorgeous and they're huge originally my design or my design originally my idea was to make one of those little donut um like cones that you see all over instagram tiktok whatever um but I couldn't find the correct size that I needed. So maybe I'm just gonna get some small donut holes or whatever from Krispy Kreme to make the um, donut cones or donut hole cones instead of like full donut cones. Cause these are too big to put on a thing. Like all of the toppings would just fall off. What she did, guys. All the decor. We have gluten free, dairy free donuts. Calm down, Cookie. <laughs> and we have chips. <laughs> oh, yeah, just grab. Do you want to take a picture or are you just looking for cookie? Cookie! Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Bella. Happy birthday.
Go Bella. Go Bella. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> 